Hey everyone, welcome to The Dove Life. I hope everyone is safe. Today we are looking at virtual environments with the Jupyter Notebook application. Jupyter Notebook is a web-based application that allows you to run your Python code block by block and review those blocks of code along with the results. This is quite useful when debugging your code or you require to look at those results at each stage to make sure that your analysis is going as planned. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I have VS Code open up into the top left there to the bottom left, you see terminal and off to the right is my Safari browser. I am going to create an environment in terminal there using Conda. For those of you who are not familiar with using Conda, you'll have to uh, look at one of my other videos. I'll link, leave the link in the description. And so I have created that environment and I'm going to install a package called Beautiful Soup on anaconda.org. You'll be able to see the installation instructions or you could just copy and paste the conda install statement. And what this package allows you to do is it allows you to scrape web. Uh, it's a web scraper so you could scrape HTML or XML. I'll just copy some code here and then um, populate an uh, uh, the skeleton of an HTML file, index.html, we'll call it index.html, and that's it. Python, this is a simple sample paragraph. We'll assign that document uh, to a variable called HTML underscore doc, open R, and then we'll just paste the uh, path into there. This is, you could put anything in here. This, is, this isn't this is necessary for the tutorial. I'm just uh, showing that you could use this specific module in this kind of environment and then use it again once we've installed uh, uh, install the environment into the Jupyter Notebook uh, application. So you see that we've printed back out the same HTML there um, from the uh, index.html file. Okay, so we have beautiful soup installed. We're going to install another package that will allow us to uh, create that uh, environment in Jupyter Notebooks. It's called con it's called uh, Anaconda, uh, sorry, IPy kernel. I'll leave the command down in the description as well. Let's fast forward through this here. Once this is done, we will, so we're just going to do a conda list here and we're going to see IPy kernel installed. That package is installed. We still and we are seeing the beautiful soup on top there. Okay, great. So we have those two packages. We need to run this command. I'll leave this in the description as well in order to create an environment or for Jupyter Notebook to gain access to this environment. Um, that's done. Now you have to de deactivate the environment unless you have Jupyter Notebook configured with that environment. So I'm just gonna run Jupyter Notebook here. It'll open up into the Safari browser off to the right. And we'll be able to then now uh, create a new um, uh, Python notebook in that environment, JN36, which is what we created in Conda. So I'll just, let's just uh, test importing this package. In fact, what I'll do is I think I'll just copy and paste the code that I did earlier and paste it into there. And hopefully nothing is broken. Hopefully I don't need to refactor anything. I could just run this and we have the same output that we did in terminal. So it runs, it works. And this tells us that the beautiful soup package is accessible from this environment, which means it worked. Um, so uh, one of the good things about uh, Jupyter uh, Notebook, like I said earlier, is that you could um, have code in different blocks for different cells and just run those by themselves there. So we ran the first block of code, second block of code, and this is the third block of code, which has the output there. So there you've done it. Uh, you've successfully created an environment in Conda and then pull it into Jupyter Notebooks. I hope that you guys found this fun and you learned something. Uh, if you think that someone else would learn from this, please share it with them. Uh, do hit that like button if you like what you saw and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.